We have an update to a News 4 Jax I-Team investigation. Eight months from now, the more than 200 adult arcades, or what we used to call internet cafes here in Jacksonville, may really be forced to close this time permanently. That's because last night the city council voted to ban simulated slot machines, and the timing of the bill took some of these businesses by surprise. As News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett shows us, they're now facing the reality of having to shut down for good. I'm inside Spin City here on Beach Boulevard. It's one of the adult arcades that has the proper permits from the city. It's legal to operate until next February. That's when they have to get rid of these machines and shut them down. Still, there are about a hundred others that have opened in Jacksonville that don't have permits, and those could be shut down immediately. Jelly Brown says she often comes to Spin City and other adult arcades instead of poker rooms for one reason. I come here just for fun. I mean, in here, it's not too expensive. But now that the city council has taken steps to close them all down, she and others will be looking for other venues. Crime at Internet cafes have been a key concern. On May 1st, a man was shot and killed during a robbery at an adult arcade on the west side. The city council pointed to crime statistics that show from January 2018 to April of 2019, there have been 504 calls to service to these businesses. As for the owners, like Ryan Strickland, they say all of this is a surprise. He says he's been trying to work with council on the safety concerns, and now he says nearly 1,000 people could be out of work. It also means that a lot of uh, local community jobs will be lost as well, which is unfortunate. You know, over the years, we've gotten uh, kind of like a work family. We've gotten very close with employees. Strickland says he understands closing the ones without permits, but he says those that are operating legitimately should be allowed to stay open. There's a lot of conversations going on. I think um, there's angles both politically and legally that probably need to be addressed and looked at in the appropriate manner. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, you can't control what happens behind the scenes. The city's now working to try to find out how they will go about shutting those down without permits. It will mean working with code enforcement and the sheriff's office. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.